Significant in the outcome. I expect a tough fight, uh, like the first one. So, um, but I guess he might have meant the outcome would be more. If he won, it would be more clear to those who doubted the first one that it was obviously one that they would have to, you know, admit that he won. Now, you know, Michael Yormark, he said that someone's getting knocked out this fight. Do you agree with with that statement that someone is getting stopped in this fight? It's a possibility. I only trained Andre purposely to knock out somebody twice. The first one was Chad, and the second one was this one. I never trained him like anybody else, but this one I did. You, you, you say you trained him? To only him twice out. I've trained him. Uh, we trained strategy to stop somebody. That was Chad Dawson, and this was the second one. What changes in strategy when you're going for that? Well, I don't necessarily want to say, but we have our ways of doing it, and he's very capable of doing it. So, what now? Uh, Andre said that he did reveal some secrets about Kovalev's camp. Can you confirm that, that he actually told you guys anything to that extent? Well, we know a lot about his camp. We know everything that's going on. You said, now, Bird Hunter, now, while you were in training for this particular fight, did Andre uh, ask you anything? What should he do differently? No, no. Once his legs, once his knee was sound, and we knew that that wasn't going to be a problem anymore, all it did is take us back to where he was before he had the knee issue. The legs in the castle fight, the Dawson fight, and things like that. And Andre's taking great care of himself. He doesn't party, he doesn't drink, smoke, and he doesn't have any wear and tear on him from boxing. Uh, the year and a half did him good. And, you know, also this will be uh, our fourth fight. You know, to face a Sergey Kovalev with only two fights coming back, that's a big task. You know, ideally you would like five, four or five fights where you know you can, you can get into that groove. But because the knee uh, uh, sort of had to make adjustments where he fought more from the waist up, he was more stationary, uh, his in and out wasn't because it sort of gives you when he had his, his legs were spread a little wider in order to compensate for that feeling so we just did what we had to do and that just goes to prove that uh, which our knee, but, is it? but I asked his trainer though when you observed the fight did you suggest anything to him maybe slide you know do something a little different in the second fight for, for, this, the, fight? for this fight no because once the knee was sound like I said all the things he can do switching to southpaw and all these things, it, it was apparent in camp. So, there's no need at that point. I mean, at, at this stage, there's, people say strategy, but at this stage, with, with a fighter like Andre, that, who, that can adapt and fill you out, I think you would really put a little too much on the table to have an initial strategy, but we do have backup, you know, plans. Um, if something he is knocked down again, you know, we have to go back to where we went to the first fight, take one round at a time, and, um, you know, come back. Thank you very much. I can see. Now, this is uh, Kovalev's first time coming in as an underdog. How much pressure is on you because he's an underdog? And, and do you feel it? No, because he's been, actually been an underdog a couple of times, you know, not, not so much. Let's, let's put it like this. When he fought overseas, he was the underdog to the fans because they were, they were hostile and they didn't want him to win. There's no problem with this fight as far as him being an underdog. He was kind of like the underdog that said the first fight. War, War was kind of the favorite in the first fight. So this is nothing new to him and it's, it's, you know, it's his old hat so we just go to work and um, hopefully this time we get the right decision. Now does Kola feel this is a revenge fight or does he feel that this is a fight to really test himself so where he feel he has to win? He definitely, feels, he definitely feels the revenge because he wants his belt back um, that he felt were unjustly given away. Um, but he can't, be, he, can't be, he can't let that boggle his mind and, and, and look for a knockout. He has to just go forth and, and break this guy down systematically, win the rounds, put the rounds in the bank, and if a knockout comes, it comes. If it doesn't, 
all he all he wants is his belt back. So he can't let he can't let this fight. He can't let anger. He can't let hostile words and things that are saying about each other get inside his head and take him out of his game plan. If he does, if he does what he's supposed to do, I believe he wins. Do you, do you see the fight going the distance again? I can see the fight going the distance. If, 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 if Sergey can't catch him with, with, with a solid shot, I can see going the distance. But if he catches him with a solid shot, not a grazing shot, he can knock him out. Hey, Jackson. Uh, Kovalev, he said he gassed out. Yeah. Do you think that means he psychologically gassed out? Because it wasn't like it was a whole bunch of punches being thrown or anything like that. Or, or what do you think he means when he said he gassed out? He said he gassed out. I guess he really gassed out. Well, we got a, you know, he has a new conditioning coach for this fight, and that problem, I guess, has been corrected. He just now needs to be smart in his pursuit of uh, Andre Ward. That's all. You are watching YETicket.com with Al McGee. Movie reviews and interviews. This is YETicket.com. YETicket.com. Your entertainment ticket. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. YETicket.com. YETicket.com.